Hello everyone, welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of Keem Crash Course, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of chemistry. We're going to be dealing with questions where you need to identify trends on the periodic table. So let's start off with our first question. Which of the following is correct regarding the first ionization potential of sodium, magnesium, aluminium, and silicon? So which of these is correct? So let's look at the elements of themselves. Sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon. Atomic numbers are 11, 12, 13, and 14 respectively. So basically, we're going across the same period. So we need to find out the ionization potential across a period. Now across a period you would have the increase in the number of protons in each of these um, elements. So therefore sodium has 11 protons, magnesium has 12, aluminium has 13, silicon has 14. So because of that <clears throat> the first ionization potential increases across the period. So ideally um, sodium has the lowest and magnesium has ionization potential higher than sodium so is aluminum and silicon. However when we look at their electron configuration of these four elements, for sodium, it will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So we will represent that as neon and 3s1. Well, neon is the closest halogen, I mean, not halogen, is the closest noble gas and we, uh, in order to simplify the ionization, si simplify the electronic configuration, we make sure that the nearest halogen is remarked, the lowest halogen, the lower halogen is remarked, and then we add on the orbitals. So therefore, for sodium, it'll be neon and 3s1. For magnesium, atomic number is 12, it'll be neon and 3s2. For aluminium, it'll be neon and then 3s2, 3p1 and for silicon it'll be neon 3s2, 3p2. Now among the following um, you know elements magnesium has a fulfilled outer orbital so the outer orbital, which accepts electrons, is complete in magnesium. For sodium, there's one space for an electron. For aluminium, we move on to the p electron, which has which can hold six. To the p orbital, which which can hold six electrons. So therefore, there is a whole lot of space there. Same story goes for silicon. So magnesium is the only one with a fulfilled outer orbital, and that means that it has higher ionization potential. So therefore, the order that goes sodium less than magnesium less than aluminum less than silicon is incorrect because the value of magnesium is higher than aluminum. So therefore, the correct order would be option E. Sodium less than aluminum less than magnesium less than silicon. And the reason for that is Across a period, ionization potential increases. However, for magnesium, it's higher than usual because of a fulfilled outer orbital. The fulfilled 3s orbital gives it a higher ionization potential. The other options are incorrect because it shows aluminium having the highest amount for option A. It's the reverse order for option B. And in option D, it shows that um, sodium has the highest, which is again incorrect. Sodium has the lowest ionization potential among the four elements. So the correct option is option E, sodium 
less than aluminum, less than magnesium, less than silicon. This is the order for the first ionization potential across the period. Let's look at another question. The electron affinity values for the halogens show the following trend. Is it F less than Cl greater than Br greater than I, F less than Cl less than Br less than I, F greater than Cl greater than Br greater than I, F less than Cl greater than Br less than I, F greater than Cl, less than Br, greater than I. So these are the five options that we have. Halogens, the four elements here, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, are halogens, which means they belong to group 17. Now, we need to find out the electron affinity of elements as we go down the group. So when we go down the group, an extra shell is added to every atom, to the atom below. So therefore, since the extra shell is present, we find out that the size increases. Now when size increases, there is greater distance between the, an electron and the proton, so therefore the, attract, the attraction force decreases. That means the electron affinity decreases. So, as we go down the group, electron affinity decreases for every atom. So, ideally, fluorine would be having higher electron affinity than chlorine, which will have greater than bromine, which will have greater than iodine. However, it is found out that chlorine has the highest electron affinity in practical use. And why is that? Because fluorine is the smallest is the smallest of the elements and so therefore electrons in the shell they repel the outer electrons and since they repel the outer electrons that means that the electron affinity between the proton and the electron decreases slightly so therefore even though fluorine is at the top of the list at the top of the group it has lesser electron affinity than chlorine. So therefore, the correct order would go fluorine has less than chlorine, which is greater than bromine, which is greater than iodine. So chlorine has the highest electron affinity, even though fluorine is the most electronegative. So therefore, option A would be the correct option. In, the other, in, in option B, it says that fluorine has the least which is incorrect. In option C, this, is the, this would have been the order if fluorine didn't have repulsion, so option C is incorrect. And in option D, it says iodine, it gives iodine an exception too, which is incorrect. And in option E, it says bromine, uh, it has a higher electron affinity than chlorine, which is also incorrect. The correct answer is option A, fluorine, it has less electron affinity than chlorine, which is the maximum. Bromine has less than chlorine. Iodine has less than bromine. So F greater than less than Cl greater than Br greater than I is the correct order for the electron affinity values for the halogens. Now let's look at the final question of the day. In the periodic table, metallic character of elements shows one of the following trend decreases down the group and increases across the period, increases down the group and decreases across the period, increases across the period and also down the group, decreases down the group and remains constant across the period, none of the above. Which of these is correct? So what do you mean by metallic character? Well, if you look at all of the metals, their metallic character refers to the ability to lose electrons. Metals are called electropositive elements because they lose electrons in order to gain a stable configuration. So we need to find out what happens down the group and across the period when it comes to the ability of losing electrons. If we go across a period, we see that the nucleus 
gets larger. That means more protons are present in the nucleus compared to the same element at the start of the period, so compared to a, an element at the start of the period. So what does that mean? It means that there is more electron affinity. So that means it'll be harder for the element to lose electrons. So that means the metallic character decreases. So we have less metallic character as we move across a period. Now when we go down the group, extra shell is present in the lowermost. I mean, the, uh, the element below will have an extra shell. So for example, in the halogens, you have fluorine has one, the chlorine has one shell more than fluorine, bromine has one shell more than chlorine, and so on. So the extra shell means that there is a size increase, there's an increase in size, so that means the affinity between the nucleus and the electron decreases which results in an increased metallic character. So therefore down the group the metallic character of elements increases while across a period the metallic character decreases. So therefore the correct option would be option B. Option A would be true for non-metallic characters but we're looking at metallic ones. Increasing across the period and down the group there is no you know character for elements that is so except maybe increase in the number of electrons. Now uh, option D decreases down the group and remains constant across the period. That is also incorrect. None of these is also incorrect because we know that option B is the right one. Metallic character refers to the ability of losing electrons. As we go down the group, the addition of shell makes the size of the element larger. So therefore, the larger size means that it's easier for the electron to lose, easier for the element to lose electrons. As we move across a period, we find out that the nucleus in gets larger. That means there's more electron affinity, which means that the metallic character decreases. So there is less ability for the element to lose electrons. So option B is the correct option. Now that concludes this episode of Keen Crash Course. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. If you want to get the latest updates from our channel, then please don't forget to hit the note the notifications icon which is present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye bye for now.